my dear friends today i would like to speak on the topic famous environmentalists what is an environmentalist an environmentalist is a person who is concerned with and or advocates for the protection of the environment now there are thousands of environmentalists all around the world i'm not going to go into detail about every single one of them but i'm going to discuss about five important persons that everyone ought to know about let's start the first person i would like to introduce you all to is called malaika vas malaika vas is a national geographic explorer tv presenter and a wildlife filmmaker from goa india this 21 year old adventure wildlife presenter filmmaker and conservationist has no shortage of inspiration fueling her love for the outdoors she believes that her generation is in a unique predicament while being the first to experience the devastating impact of climate change and the loss of biodiversity she also believes that hers may be the last generation with the power to turn things around malika vas was born to marusha vas and mac vas and has two younger brothers Mikhail and Mark she is today certainly wasting no time over the last couple of years was has been investigating the illegal trade of manta rays across the southeast asia tracking the pipeline from indo burmese border to the wildlife markets and guangzhou china as a television host and science communicator she has most recently presented an eight part television series on lesser known and endangered species titled on the brink on television discovery channel and animal plant of india moving forward the next person that i would like to introduce you is called hans cosmas gutheya he too is a national geographic explorer he is a conservationist from tanzania with a passion for filming and photography He is the co-founder of the non-governmental organization Landscape and Conservation Mentors. Growing up in the foothills of Kilimanjaro, surrounded by the vast plains of Serengeti, he always had a passion for wildlife. Initially, he aspired to be a tour guide or ranger, but later realized that there are more opportunities in conservation. He became eager to share his passion with his countrymen and Rangers He is now an ambassador for the sustainable use of natural resources for the benefit of all His combination of research and conservation is creating awareness on the sustainable use of natural resources thus helping communities coexist with wildlife and encouraging them to engage in sustainable environmental practices For the last 3 years he has designed, designed and worked on a project called Vijana na Mazingira which means youth and environment in a remote village in eastern Tanzania as you can see he was one of the first group of grantees selected for NGO's young explorer leadership and development program the next person is Rachel Carson Rachel Carson was born on May 27 1907 as an American marine biologist or the end conservationist she had written several books for the importance of environment and the most famous one which took her to me in this list is the silent spring let's see what in the silent spring made her so popular let me quote an a very important quote of this book in nature nothing exists alone this quote perfectly sums up the lessons from her ground breaking book Silent Spring This book was first published in three serialized experts in the New York New Yorker in June of 1962 With this book the resulting new public awareness that nature was vulnerable to human intervention especially uncurtailed unverified and technological changes the public debate the change from whether pesticides were dangerous to ones to which ones were dangerous and the burden of proof shifted to the manufacturers responsibility was assumed by the government who had previously not only failed to reg- regulate but encourage the use of pesticides silent spring conveys the voice of a woman who stood for truth even in the face of assault from chemical industry but 
She also found as many advocates as enemies throughout her work, including President John F. Kennedy, who established as a presidential committee to investigate pesticides as a result of Siren Spring. The book was so impactful that it instrumental in the creation of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and in eventually formally banning the pesticides in DDT in USA in 1972. The next person I introduce you is not very famous for his environmental activity, but sure famous all around the world as the 26th President of the United States. Yes, I introduce you to none other than Theodore Roosevelt, also famously known as Teddy Roosevelt due to his initials TR. His, uh, he was an American statesman, conservationist, naturalist, historian and a writer. As a boy, Theodore Roosevelt wanted to be a naturalist, a scientist who revels in and extreme, exa examines nature. As an adult, the person never forgot his childhood dream and preserved vast regions of the United States for further generations of Americans. Roosevelt was an avid adventurer and lover of nature, dedicated himself to protecting both wildlife and natural resources. He recognized that without dramatic action, the rich natural resources and incom incomparable landscapes of our country would disappear, leaving future generations without the legacy of natural splendors. As the president, he provided federal protection for almost 230 million acres of land, an area equivalent to the entire eastern seaboard from Maine to Florida. He also did various other deeds, such as 150 national forests, 51 federate bird, bird reservations, 5 national parks, and the list goes on. He was a kind human and a good president. The next person last, but never not the least, Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg is a Swedish environmental activist, inter internationally known for challenging world leaders to take immediate action against climate change. We would all think, what made a 16 years old so famous? In May 2018, age 15, Greta won a national climate change essay in a local newspaper. Three months later, in August, she started protesting in front of the Swedish parliament building, vowing to continue until the Swedish government met the carbon emission standard agreed by world leaders in Paris in 2015. She held a sign that read, School Strike for Climate, and began regularly missing leader lessons to go on a strike on Fridays, urging students around the world to join her. Her protest soon went viral on social media and her support grew. Other strikes started around the world, spreading with the hashtag Fridays for Future. By December 2018, more than 20,000 students around the world had joined her in countries including Australia, UK, Belgium, US and Japan. What has she done since then? The teenager took off the whole of 2019 off school to continue campaigning. In 2019, she traveled to New York to attend a UN climate conference. Greta refuses to fly because of its environmental impact. So she made her way on a racing yacht in a journey that lasts two weeks. She had received numerous honors and awards, including an honorary fellowship of the Royal Scottish Geographic Society Inclusion in the Times 100 Most Influential People being the youngest time of the year. She has, here I have not mentioned the most important achievement of her year, that is the two consecutive nominations for the Nobel Peace Award during the years 2019 and 2020. With this, I stop my presentation. Thank you all for kindly listening to this. Thank you.